Dear Pastor Bob, what's your opinion on giving money to homeless people? I ask this because I give when I can, but I've come under a bit of criticism from other Christians for doing so. They say I should offer to buy food for them instead, as they'll use the money for drugs. Yes, they might buy drugs, but they may also buy food. I just think that they were dehumanized in so many other ways. Why do we have to dehumanize them further by saying they can't handle money responsibly? Am I wrong? Should I buy food rather than just giving them money? Great question. And I get asked this question quite often, honestly. You know, my experience with homeless people is very few of them ever ask for money. Um, when you have somebody who comes up and panhandles, asks you for money, the chances are pretty great that they're actually not homeless. When you get people that stand on a street corner with a sign that says, we'll work for food or whatever, if you offer them a job, many times they don't take it. It's not their thing. Um, if they have a sign that says homeless could use some help, usually... If you follow them, they probably have a nice apartment and they make more money than you do. A lot of them. Now, there are people that are going to really be upset because I've made this statement. And I'm making an informed statement. I work with the homeless a lot. And I, I see the difference. We don't get a lot of panhandlers under the bridge. And I work with, I've worked with thousands of homeless people. We just don't get very many. Um, it's not the modus operandi for homeless people. And to assume that homeless people are just going to buy drugs or, you know, alcohol is also not true. Some panhandlers are panhandling because they have an addiction, not necessarily because they're homeless. And most people are homeless because they don't have a good support system. Um, many of you have families you could rely on if you lost any, everything, and some of you have. You've had to go home and live with your, with your family. But, you see, not everybody has that, and not everybody has family that will help them or anybody that will help them, and so they end up on the streets very much alone. And uh, in my experience, most people become alcoholics or drug addicts after they've hit the streets, not before. It's typical. It's just a real lonely, dehumanizing place to be. So should you just hand people money? Probably not. But what you should do is get to know them a little bit. You see, we're so good at passing people by and not very good at just saying, come in and let me buy you some, some food and let's sit down and, and chat together. Let's talk. Let me get to know you a little bit. Let me see what you need. You know, most people, if they're truly homeless, are looking for a friend, looking for some help other than finances. You know, just, sometimes just direction. Sometimes a job. The other part of this, folks, is that we have a tendency to just not want to be involved, period. In the last week, um, well, I've had a lot of people cancel out on us. People that were going to cook food and didn't at the last minute. People that were going to help and didn't at the last minute. Um, one of the ministries that uh, we work with that we provide food for um, the lady that heads up the ministry that does most of it has to go into uh, the hospital for surgery for six weeks and this big church that she's involved with is closing the homeless ministry down because there's nobody to run it while she's gone seriously so all these people that needed food and have been used to going there to eat for many years now will not have any place to eat because nobody in the church could find the time to do it. Do I sound frustrated and uh, critical? Yeah, I really am frustrated and critical. Because, folks, it's not about what is my duty, it's about what's my opportunity. I have an opportunity to fall in love with people who are in need. I have an opportunity to give out of my abundance for people who need something. I have an opportunity to touch other people's lives, and we're too busy. My challenge to you this week is not, do you give money to a homeless person or not? You know, 
I really don't know. What you have to do is kind of go with your gut, go with your heart, see what God's leading you to do. But the bigger question is, how much are you willing to be involved? What about asking that homeless person to have dinner with you and then find out what they really need, what's really going on with them? Find out about, you know, what makes them vulnerable to the streets. How can you help? How can your friends help them? See what I'm saying? As long as we become us and them, as long as we speak down to them, look down at them, all of that, we're never going to see this problem go away. Here in Nashville, we have probably over 20,000 homeless people. Um, we have a, an extreme housing shortage because of the the, uh, so many people moving to Nashville that we have a housing crisis. The, the prices go up and up and up, and the homeless people get booted to the streets, uh, poorer people. And so there isn't any affordable housing. So we have this big problem. And the problem isn't fixed by walking by it or assuming that somebody else is going to do it. And it isn't just about food. It's not just about a place to live. It's about being a friend. It's about being human. It's about watching out for our fellow man, people in need. Many different kinds of people in need. Homelessness is only one of them. But if you're not involved with something where you give your heart and your your uh, your time and, and uh, maybe even your finances away, then you're not fulfilling the great commission that Jesus gave us. And that is to take care of each other, to love each other unconditionally, to love each other that you give. Give what? Give your time, give your food, give your money, give some housing, whatever it is. But you see, that's the heart of Jesus. And folks, you can talk all day long about how we have the heart of Jesus, but you see, love is a verb, it's action. You'll know they're Christians by the way they love each other and by the way they love other people. Well, enough said. I hope that the uh, the point is driven home and I hope you'll get involved. God bless you. Have a great day. Thank you.